Last year at Marienbad begins at a party in an elaborate chateau where a man, cryptically credited as X, approaches a woman, cryptically credited as A, and tries to convince her that they met at that very same spot one year ago. But did they? Alain Rene's enigmatic and polarizing French New Wave classic heavily blurs the lines between dreams, memories, fantasy, and reality, layering story upon story and constantly fluctuating chronology in one of the most disorienting films of all time. Parce que vous avez peur. Ne connaissez-vous pas non plus cette photographie? Now, Alex, by no means am I a fan of the French New Wave. Mm. Uh, I don't particularly dig the style of filmmaking that it really proliferated, uh, nor am I a fan of the obnoxious, pretentious fans that it allowed to create and thrive and make children in this world. <laughs> but uh, I really, really dig Last Year at Marion Bad because of just how extreme it goes and just disregarding all rules of conventional filmmaking. Uh, I, I gotta really admire a film that just goes way out into left field, just doesn't give a shit about anything that came before it. Yeah, but is it too extreme? I mean, how far gone is it? Um, really far gone. Uh, Alain Rene with Last Year Marion Bad does everything he possibly can to disorient and unsettle you as an audience. Uh, what he does is there's a lot of sequences and scenes that take place uh, uh, with drastic changes. They may be having the same conversation twice, but there's changes in location, changes in costume. There's just this disembodied narrator, and you're not sure who it is that's actually saying anything. Uh, there are recreations of scenes, but you're never really sure, uh, okay, is this a flashback, or is he making this up completely? Mm. There's just these weird surrealist art elements to it. Now, El Elaine Rene has said, he famously said, that he didn't intend for this movie to mean anything. <laughs> How does that affect your reading of this film? Yeah. A bold and, in my opinion, hilarious declaration. Uh, I, I actually think that some people would think that that kind of destroys the art in the meeting, but, uh, you know, I, I disagree. I think it actually adds a layer of, uh, of personal interpretation to it, because different people now can approach this as a blank slate and read whatever they want to into it. Some people can uh, interpret it as, well, last year Marion Bad is all about uh, the fleetingness of, of memories and recollection, how things aren't always as we remember them to be, whereas somebody else could, could watch the film and think, well, no, this is all about a woman trying to repress her past, trying not to remember the abusive relationship that she had with this guy one year ago. So I think, you know, everybody can kind of get something else out of it. 